everybody. It's Jared from Acoustic Nature and we are back with another episode of Behind the Sounds. Uh, right now I'm in the Chattahoochee National Forest. And this is gonna be a good one. This watering hole right here, I noticed earlier seems to be very popular. There's a lot of different tracks in there. I'm thinking I'm gonna put a drop rig on this tree right here a little bit further away so it's not so in their face. Uh, there's also a nice stream right here that's just trickling. So I also don't wanna have my recorder on top of that because I want this to just add to the ambiance. I don't want it to be the focus. So just a couple other thoughts on this drop rig before we head back to camp. Um, as you can see, I ended up going with the dark green hat instead of the tan ones that I also have because I felt like it just blended in a little bit better with the tree. And later tonight, I'm just hoping that that doesn't stand out to the wildlife in any way. Um, it is pretty windy, so I do have two windscreens on there. And also, hopefully, we get lots of thirsty visitors tonight. Anyways, we'll check back here in the morning. All right, everybody. So I finished going through the recording of the LS10 by the watering spot last night. And we got two really cool recordings. One has nothing to do with the water at all and is the more exciting of the two. And I think it's actually two beavers fighting with each other. Uh, the other one is either a deer or a bear coming down to the water, stepping in the water, and uh, sniffing around close to my microphone. So I've changed my plan for tonight and tonight is going to be all about the beavers. Uh, I've explored their habitat, <clears throat> looked at their signs, found some tracks, uh, some highways, and I'm going to throw everything that I have at them tonight to try and get some good beaver sounds. So the first rig that I'm going to set up is going to be in their supermarket, so to speak. I really want to get a recording of them chopping down a tree. So that's going to be the first recording that I'm going to set up. And I'm going to use my SAS paired with the D100 to give me the lowest possible noise setup because I'd imagine that that's not very loud. And I also probably won't be able to get right close to the tree, right? So it'll just be in the general area. And if it happens, I definitely want the lowest noise possible to capture it. The second setup that I'm going to do is on the boardwalk of the mountain pond that they've created from their dams. Earlier today, I observed what appeared to be uh, main routes or highways from their homes, which are actually built into the bank. Uh, they don't actually have your 
stereotypical beaver dam, big pile of sticks in the middle of the place. They've actually burrowed into the bank of the land. And from each burrow, there's a, a groove uh, that's carved go, go, uh, from coming and going in and out of the water uh, into their into their home. So there happens to be uh, three highways right next to the boardwalk. So I'm going to set one up there to catch any nighttime activity from them. And the third recording that I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the Tascam DR05X with just a pair of stereo EM272 capsules near where they're entering and exiting the water to go to the uh, tree shopping mart, uh, if you will. So the reason why I'm using the Tascam there is because if any action happens there, it's going to be basically right next to the microphone. So my signal is going to be really loud. So I don't need my quietest, quietest recorder to capture a relatively noise free recording. So that's why I'm using the Tascam and also my less sensitive stereo pair of the EM272 capsules. The uh, SAS microphones that I have, each left and right channel has two EM272 capsules. So uh, it's quite a bit more sensitive than just the single capsules by themselves. So just to be clear, the SAS has a total of four wired in parallel and the uh, stereo pair that I have just has the two, one for the left, one for the right. So that is my entire plan for the evening. And uh, I just have to go set them up. Good morning, everybody. For as beautiful as it was yesterday, it is absolutely brutal today. It's 37 degrees and uh, there's a cloud basically on top of the ridge where I'm at. So it's really, really humid. The, the cloud has a lot of moisture and uh, it's pretty windy. So <laughs> you put those three things together, the cold, the humidity, and the wind, and you have yourself one brutal morning. I think I'm just gonna hike on in there and grab my three recorders and then hunker down in my Prius aka generator and get some heat going and edit those recordings so that's the plan I just got to get geared up and start walking down in there okay here we are back where we ended just the other day here's the sass rig and here is the mountain pond. It's pretty unique, pretty cool. So I'm just gonna take this down as quickly as I possibly can and get moving on to the next one. All right, everybody, today is just about sunset on day three, and I just wanted to bring you up to speed on what happened today. So I went ahead and edited all of the sounds from all three drop rigs that I left out last night. And we got some really good sounds. The highlights of all of the recordings were of a beaver eating a piece of tree. <laughs> My favorite of all the sounds captured last night was a beaver tail slap. So that took up almost all of my afternoon. It took me about seven hours to go through all of the recordings. We're gonna keep it light tonight I don't want to go through all that audio again. That's a good way to burn yourself out. Tonight, I'm just setting up one recording for one purpose, and that is to capture the barred owl that has woken me up the past two nights. 